On this video, I'm going to talk about setting goals for graphic designers and I'm going to share some tips that I use regularly. Since we are starting a new year, I think this is a very good topic to get motivated. Hi, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer and this channel is all about creativity and the design process. If you are new here, welcome and please consider subscribing if you like the content of these videos. So first of all, let's talk about what goals are and the importance of having them. Goals are those ideas or those objects that people put their efforts towards in order to grow or to achieve a desired result. And to be consistent, I think it's important to have a why and to really understand what doors achieving that goal is going to open. For example, setting a financial goal might open the doors of freedom, of being able to work from home, of having some savings so you can actually travel and work remotely from different places. But on this video I'm going to be focusing on creative skills and on my main priority which is improving as a graphic designer. So usually I set goals on three categories. The first one is to improve my design skills. So this could be for example by learning lettering, animation, video editing or anything that can contribute to my graphic design practice. The second is to learn a new design software or tool. So for example I could teach myself how to use Sketch3 to design a website or I could go on to learning how to use Affinity Designer as an alternative to the Adobe Creative Cloud. And finally the third category is to update my design process so I will be changing around the way I do things, maybe spending more time on one stage than on the other and just basically trying different ideas and see how my design process can be better. Some other skills that I could be focusing on that don't really fall onto the category of um, improving my design skills would be communication skills, selling my work, meeting deadlines, staying within budget or even teaching my clients to give a proper feedback. Something that you can do in order to know what skill to focus on is by researching the graphic design job offers around your area and just literally reading what they ask for and choosing one skill to start developing. I know that many of these job offers ask for us designers to know about everything, but to be honest, it's always good to have some skills on top of your graphic design skills. So for example, you could be focusing on learning illustration or learning lettering Another good tip to achieve your goals is to use habits as part of the process. So for example, one of the habits I'm trying to acquire is to always have pen and paper on me, which I have always done in the past. I always had a pen and paper on my backpack. Since I'm learning lettering, I'm trying to make it even easier. So I have a very small notebook that I can put on my pocket and a small pen as well. So whenever I'm just waiting around for the bus or waiting for someone on a coffee shop, I can just put my notebook out and start writing letters and practicing. I got this idea when I was listening to a podcast by The Resourceful Designer, which is called Progression Over Perfection, and he was talking about soccer players and how a good way for them to practice is to be all the time touching a ball so they know how the ball is going to react. So I thought this would be applicable to my case because I want to know how my hands react to the pen, how the pen reacts to the paper, and this way I can improve my analog skills. And finally, my last tip is to set monthly themes. So for example, my theme in January is to create more because I'm trying to focus on producing more content for my YouTube channel and for Instagram. And in February, I want to focus on the university module that I'm starting and setting a good base for the following three months. In March, I might focus on promoting my services, like building up my portfolio, getting to know more people, finding new clients. And in April, I will focus on a rebrand of my business. So if you haven't heard about it, I recommend you to check May 1st Reboot. I will leave the link on the description box. And it's basically the idea of setting a date, which is the 1st of May, and having a collective relaunch of websites from different designers around the world. So that's all the tips I have on setting goals for graphic designers. And finally, I just want to reinforce the importance of having a why. Whenever I'm setting goals, I always have the name of the goal, 
why this goal is important to me, what am I gonna achieve if I get this goal, how is it gonna change my life, and finally I have action steps, so some ideas of things that I can be doing throughout the year to achieve this goal. I think it's very important to be specific. I'm sure you have heard about setting smart goals, so I'm not going to talk about that on this video. But if you haven't heard about it, check it out. I'll leave a link on the description below. And make sure you set goals that are really important to you. And if you want to improve as a graphic designer, setting goals to improve your design skills, to learn new tools, or to update your design process are going to be the best things you can do for you on this new year. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked this video and if you have any questions please leave them on the comments below or go to my Instagram page and leave them on my last post. Thank you so much.